Hello and welcome to the second episode of Mule Bytes. In this video, we'll learn how and why you should be cataloging your APIs and how building an API portal can revolutionize your API ecosystem and maximize your API value. I am Akshita Savant, working as a senior developer advocate at Salesforce. So let's get into it. Have you ever worked super hard to build an API only to realize later that it has been already built by someone else? It's annoying, right? And all of us, we are dealing with API. We are either building API or consuming API. They are basically present everywhere. Even in my previous video, I spoke about AnyPoint Exchange, which has like a large amount of REST APIs, OPPI templates, accelerators, and several assets. You can also view your API, you can mock them, and you can like share with your collaborators. When you have all these facilities in Exchange, why do you need a separate API portal? So let's take an example. Suppose if you have thousands of APIs and there are several collaborators, developers who are working or using these APIs. In that case, you can't onboard all of them on any point exchange, right? You cannot give access to everyone to exchange or have them on the portal. Besides having an API portal, it makes sure that you are building an API community. You're maximizing your API engagement and you're actually personalizing your own brand. So there are a lot of factors, I mean, a lot of advantages which are involved when it comes to API ecosystem. Now, if you are to build a API portal or an API catalog right from scratch, it would demand a huge investment in terms of time, money and resources. So you are saving all of that by API, any point API experience hub. And that's where actually any point API experience hub comes into picture. It is a next generation of API community manager and helps you extend what you already have in any point exchange. Besides, it's powered on experience cloud, which makes designing and configuring API portals much more easier. Other than this, using the any point API experience hub, you can actually design quick portals, which are quite personal to your brands. You can customize them as per your own brand and create your own personal brand. You can categorize API to different categories. You can bifurcate them into different sections. You can share these APIs with different collaborators, whether internal or external to organization. You can have auto-generated docs. You can mock these APIs and basically have everything extended from Exchange. And the favorite part, you can monetize your API. You can give your API economy a little boost by monetizing your API. Here you can take some help from the third party tools like Hypercurrent. Isn't that amazing? Now let's head over to AnyPoint platform and explore AnyPoint API Experience Hub. We are on AnyPoint platform and you can access API Experience Hub from AnyPoint platform, but you need proper permissions and access rights for it. You can further build an API portal with four simple steps. So let's get started. In the first step, you can connect your Salesforce domain using your Salesforce username and credentials. Let us first enter a Salesforce custom domain if you have one. And also validate our credentials and allow access. So further, you can style your API portal so this is the landing page of your API portal, which already has a predefined template. You can further go ahead and customize your logo, text, images, header, footer, and basically everything as per your requirement. You can customize your homepage as well as the API catalog page and confirm changes. Once done, you can further go ahead and as a part of third stitch, you can manage your API portal. You can add new APIs to your API portal from the exchange. You can also change the visibility of this API and customize the visibility to the audience. You can further manage the users and collaborators. You can also approve or reject the pending request. Once done, you can publish your API portal. It then takes you to the experience cloud where you can further go ahead and customize your API portal. You can just drag and drop the components into the on the canvas as per your convenience. And that's all. 
Once done, you can preview and publish your API portal and it's visible to everyone. Further, you can have auto-generated document for all your APIs. You can also mock the endpoints. Basically, you can try your APIs and request access for your APIs. That was easy, right? And the best part, you don't even need Salesforce knowledge or anything extraordinary to build an API portal. It's all drag and drop configuration and you're good to go. You can easily build an aesthetic API portal. I have listed down a few references that could be actually helpful while you're designing your first API. So do check them out. And also don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video if you found it useful. And you can also check out other videos in this Mulebuys playlist and supercharge your skills. Thank you for watching.